Right, nice oak tree. And Adam here Hello. <laughs> is, uh, is going to be doing reduction via thinning. So we started crown lifting. Now we can spot there's a, a branch on the right hand side that extends out. And then there's another one on that top right corner which uh, is longest and strongest. Then there's the one in the middle. And probably one on the right hand side and one out on the on the far left so those are the branches that have got to be targeted and pruned back to a natural pruning point on a growth phase change to subtly reduce the canopy so if we have a look at the other side now it's slightly more uniform this side but there's a, a long one on the top right that you can see and I would suggest that needs to be pruned back into somewhere around here, but you can yeah, uh, one, determine. Yeah. And then there's, a, on that edge. yeah, then there's, uh, there's one up there and an area there, and then there's a long extending branch out there. I think with those pruned back to natural pruning points within the canopy, it will uh, be about right. And just so that we can just identify what we're talking about about uh, that branch there that we identified that one there a natural pruning point for that branch would be around that branch junction there can you see the, the branch junction where there's three coming out yeah three, the thickest middle one yeah the one that kinks up uh, that. that's the that's the place to take that back to mm -hmm. although do you know what that's a bad example because I think that that branch that would leave the low branch that we're actually going to have to take out to equalize the crown lift so we might leave that in for this time so so right look if you look uh, that's the end it comes back Two to a y-shaped fork that's yeah. that's on the sixth growth phase change and then the next one back is the fifth growth phase change and what I'd suggest is take the top one out of the very end, just mm -hmm. literally two inch diameter, and then take the low drooping branch off that yeah. because that will crown lift. And raise the canopy. Uh, yeah, but it'll leave that long piece in place because the piece we leave now, when we come back in another four to eight years time, will be the branch that we prune back next time. So, so yeah, it's already make a nice difference with the, uh, just removing that low side branch. So. And we get that low one off as well we get, we are going to have to at least nibble this possibly even take that whole branch off but we'll see yeah. film this bit, bit david what we branch walking don't do that I look, I look ridiculous <laughs> well, Don't use the word balance here, that comes just before a fall. <laughs> Don't use the F word while I'm so precarious. What? Oh, fall. I thought I swore there. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I suppose I shouldn't say plummet either. What about plummet, David? What? Plummet. Is that better? What you say? Plummet! <laughs> Is it the red button to pause as well? Yeah, same one. Oh, it just stops it. The red one stops it.
<laughs> I got it on film as well. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a you've been framed moment. And you were not wearing your helmet either, Alex. That's a you've been framed moment. No, no, no. Let's get all the errors in one place and get them out of here. Nice big oak doing an RVT on it. Little wounds like that. Producing big holes like that. Pardon? What, what? Oh, they're in my pocket. Yeah. So, looking at it from in the tree, there's the first growth phase change, then the second, then the third, then the fourth, then the gap, then the fifth, sixth, seventh. That could be seven. Let's count them up the other branches. Let's see if it adds up. So, first, second, third. Fourth or fifth, sixth or seven. So there could be seven from inside the tree, but it gets a bit confusing. So it's a bit. And uh, this one shooting off south has had a much more straightforward time. But even so, you can still see first growth phase change, second growth phase change, third. Review those pictures and make sure so there's second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight. Okay, seven or eight even. Well, we haven't finished yet. We're doing the same all round, carrying crown lifting a little bit, and then a very light reduction by thinning it. And uh, that's it. Still got your nice tree, but it's uh, letting you see the sun a bit. Does it still look as nice as it did, though? There was just one branch that we've taken off over your garden. Yeah, so once we've taken this one off here, and then uh, some other little droopy bits, that's the crown lift done. Uh, and after that, as I say, we're just going through and thinning, thinning out the canopy lightly to just subtly reduce it. So... This is a nice oak tree after a light crown lift and a reduction by a thinning of about 10% I suppose. This is the oak view from the south, light crown lift, and 10% reduction via thinning. I uh, just got to come back and take the winter shots to see what the structure it looks like in comparison to the earlier photographs. So a nice large oak tree, about a week after it's been given a crown lift, 
and a reduction by a thinning of about 10%.